Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a page curl effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. Then we're going to go over to the rectangular marquee tool. And then from whatever corner you want the page curl to be on you're going to hold shift and drag in however big you want the curl to be. And then you're just going to release and you'll have a nice selection there. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to free transform, right click again and go to warp. And what that's going to allow us to do is it puts this little grid over. And you can grab this bottom right um, transform point. You can drag that up however far you want. I'm just going to drag it to the corner of the first box there. And then you can take these little uh, handles and you can actually adjust the curve uh, depending on what you want. And once you're satisfied with that, you can click the check mark and deselect by just clicking. And you can see we have a pretty good curve there. Um, I have a transparent background, so I'm just going to click on that. And with the foreground color of white, I'm going to hold Alt Delete, and it'll fill that with the foreground color. So now what we need to do is we need to make this a little more realistic and not have the color of the image, and we're going to have the color of uh, just where it's going to put a gradient there to make it a little bit more realistic so it looks like the back of a photo. So what we're going to do in order to get that is I'm just going to click back on this original layer. And then I'm going to go to the pen tool, and we're just going to try and make a quick selection of our curl. So I'm just going to come down here, try and get that curve as best I can. Click somewhere out here, and finish it off. So it's obviously not perfect, so I can try and fix that up with the direct selection tool. You see. See if we can move this in a little bit. And I'm just going to try and keep the uh, bottom a little bit straighter um, in order to try and straighten out the bottom of our page curl so it's a little bit more realistic. Um, so I think that this is a pretty good selection. So I'm going to go back to the pen tool, right click, go to make selection. And then with the feathering on uh, zero pixels, we're just going to click OK. So now we have this, we're going to go to our uh, horizontal or our um, rectangular marquee tool. We're going to right click, go to layer via copy, and they'll make a copy um, of that layer. So what we're going to do then is go down to this little FX button and then click on that and it's off screen, but I'm going to gradient overlay. And it'll bring up this box right here. And what we're going to do is try and get this to where you can see this uh, page curl. We're going to take and we're going to change the angle. So it's somewhere about right here so that the angle is coming directly this way. And then we're going to just try and scale it up a little bit in order to get a good effect. So once you're happy with that, you can click OK. And then the last thing to do is we're going to merge these back together. So I'm going to take and I'm going to hold Shift, click on um, the torch layer, which is the torch picture, and then the um, layer that we made from a copy. We're going to right click and go to Merge Layers. It's slightly off screen, Merge Layers. And once we have that done, what we can do is add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go back down to the FX, go to Drop Shadow. And then what we can do is just take and add a drop shadow and add it all the way around here uh, rather than just on the curl. So what we're going to do is um, probably bump up the size a little bit. We're going to bump up the spread, distance a little bit. And once we have that, uh, that's a little bit too much. We can take and drop down the opacity. And once you have something that's pretty uh, pretty good, it's going to go all the way around here. Uh, click OK, and you can zoom out. You can see the final uh, effect, and we have a nice page curl there. You can see it looks like someone's just peeling the image away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And thanks for watching.